Alrighty then, so we are at railroad site. We ain't been here for a while. Uh, this site's been a fucking nightmare this year. I'm not gonna lie. Brand new site. Uh, never grown here before, so it was all, it's all new this year. Um, I've learned a lot at this site, especially about the soil. <clears throat> so all of the plants that I planted in March, no, not March, end of April, died. Every single one of them. And then at the 1st of June, I planted five plants. Uh, stuck them down here 1st of June. And they are all alive, healthy, flowering, and ready to go. So, <clears throat> this had six, this site had 16 plants in. I don't know if you remember, I had a huge big plant there that was on a scrub net. Uh, lost pearl, greenhouse seeds, she died. Um, what I've realised with this site is stick everything out. 1st of June else uh, if the roots are in this ground for too long they get root rot so it's quite moist ground so there's another one that's left I'll take you around everything that's left this is an AMS real gorilla seeds um, she's flowering I've done nothing to these girls, I've just left them alone. Um, I top dressed a few times this year, but I haven't really done much. They've had no banana juice, no sugar, no nothing yet. So if you remember, <laughs> look at the size of it. As you can see, look, the roots had started rotting. It'd just been in this ground too long. Look at the size of it. The big cheese plant. So yeah, it didn't make it. And this is another plant I put in on the 1st of June. IMS. She's, she's flowering. These plants won't be ready until the third week of October. Around the 20th to the 25th. And then look at the size of that. That, that shot up. This was planted the 1st of June. It's huge, real big, it stinks. I'm looking forward to that for you now. So, yes, yeah, so we've got this AMS, this AMS, a little cheeky one there. And then this Fino, which I really like the look of as well. Lovely. These are all doing brilliant. No deficiencies, nothing. And then, so that's AMS as well. So we've got one AMS, two, three, four AMS survived. These four plants got planted on the 1st of June. I also planted a white rhino from real gorilla seeds, no, not from real gorilla seeds, greenhouse seeds, white rhino. I know so, um, Cheshire grower uh, is interested about this one. It's my wife's favourite strain. And uh, I just thought I'm going to have to give it a go, seeing as it is. And yeah, as you can see, she's doing brilliant. No mould, no disease. Absolute brilliant. And there's another. So a rate, the AMS, fantastic, go with those, Gorilla Growers, get on Greenhouse Seeds next year, get yourself some AMS, anti mole strain. They don't finish until 20th, around, around 20th October, 25th, but I promise you, the smell that comes off them is well worth the wait. There's some stinky plants. Jesus Christ. Right, so, also, white rhino, very mole resistant, very disease resistant, 
Um, let me just show you why I say this. Let me just take a branch off this tree here, next to it. Look at the state of that tree. Diseased, sectoria, mildew. This fucking thing in. And this plant's right next to it. Not a thing on it. So it's going to be real nice to see. Look at all these dead leaves, like... I'm a plant, the plant should be catching diseases, but it's not. Happy days. So, next year, this site, 1st of June. Yeah, look, here's all the plants that I've been pulling up. Root rot. Root rot. <clears throat> Every single plant that I planted, um, Every single plant I planted early, so March, April, I think it's the end of April. Every single one of them died. Everything that I planted on the 1st of June is doing absolutely brilliant. So lesson learned, next year, this site, plant 1st of June. Should be a really successful site then. Alright, Peace Gorillas, that's the railroad site update. I'll update again in... Probably two or three weeks of time on this site. Peace, peace.